Hey everyone, this is Jack. Welcome back to Freedom Homestead. And on today's video, this is just a little bit different. Um, uh, about a month ago, I was actually contacted by someone and they said they had a uh, item they wanted to send me to see if I would uh, look at it, review it, kind of tell them what I thought. And uh, you know, this doesn't happen to us very often. And uh, I was a little skeptical, but I checked out the company, very legit, uh, very good company actually. Had some really nice products so they said they would send me one and so a few days later uh, i received this product i have been using this now for about three weeks and i really like it and so i want to talk about it want to show it to you and maybe it's something that you guys will decide hey i could use something like this so let me set this down and uh, I want to talk about this. What the product is, it's from 3vgear.com. Uh, just the, the number three, the letter V, gear.com. 3vgear.com. It's actually a sling pack. Now, it's not like a traditional backpack with the two shoulder straps. It goes right across the chest. It actually feels very comfortable. And uh, just, just to kind of let you guys know, I've never had a sling pack. I've always used backpacks. I actually uh, take a backpack with me every day to work. So uh, I did think this was a very useful product for me to try out because every day I'm using something like this. But this sling pack, I'll, I'll show you the back of it. That's kind of the way it fits. Um, it's very comfortable. Um, it's very, I mean, it's got a, clip here where you can just take it off and clip it and uh or if you don't need to clip it you just sling it around and uh i mean i can put it on and off a ball cap it, it doesn't get in the way at all it comes off very easy it's got a handle here where you can carry it it's also got a handle right here where you can carry it on your side so it's very very well made So I'm just going to tell you a few other things that, that I like about it, and I'm going to give you an honest review. There's a few things I don't like about it, um, but to me, that was not a deal breaker. This is something that uh, if I was going for a new backpack, something that I would use every single day, um, this is definitely something I would consider getting. Um, I've never had a sling pack, and uh, what, what we mean by a sling pack is you can sling this around, open it up, immediately get into it, like get in my flashlights, uh, you know, reading material, whatever I need, zip it back up, sling it around, and just keep going. Um, it's got a, uh, uh, I'm going to take it off here and just give you a few specs about it. This here is just something I added to it. Um, I actually use this backpack in a search and rescue class where we did a mock rescue. And so we had a little search and rescue, you know, items like whistles and stuff like that. So um, it worked great. Um, but let's take it off. Let's uh, zoom in on it. Let me show you just a few things I do really like about this pack. Okay guys, so the pack overall, it's, uh, it's not as big as most regular size backpacks, but it's still a good size pack. It's, it's overall, it's 18 inches high, it's uh, 10 and a half inches wide, and uh, it's eight inches deep. So uh, it actually holds, when I first took it out of the package and started looking at it, um, I didn't think it was gonna be nearly big enough to carry everything I normally take to work, but it carried everything that I normally take plus some. So it actually has a lot of capacity inside. It does have multiple straps. You can uh, really configure this and cinch it up either way. So it's got this strap to hold everything together and compress it a little bit. But it's got three main compartments. It's got a, uh, it's got a top compartment. And again, when you sling this around to your side, you can open it up from the side and get into it. And, and again, uh, got a big jacket and gloves and first aid kits and stuff like that. But it's it's got a huge compartment inside here. The uh, the inside compartment is, is it's 
17 inches high, 10 and a half inches wide, and uh, about four inches deep. So it's got a really big compartment that you can use either way. And inside, it's also got organizing pockets in the interior and a Velcro compartment in the back. So it's got a lot of organization, a lot of capacity to put stuff in. One thing I will tell you is that when I first got the pack, the first thing that I did notice was the zippers. Uh, a lot of backpacks I use, if, if I get kind of some cheap backpacks, the zippers are the first that break. These zippers have been very good. They seem very durable. They got the pull strings with them and uh, they're pretty thick, uh, kind of monster type zippers. Um, the pack itself is is uh, is that uh, what 600 D VPV, uh, PVC, uh, you know polyester backed material. The back of the pack, I really like this. It's a harder pack. It really keeps you from sweating in the back. It's grooved to allow airflow in it. I really like that. Can you see that? And then it's got a logo from the 3V gear. It's the Vidi Vici Vini, Vidi Vini Vici. Um, I came, I saw, I conquered. So I really like that. It's got their 3V patch here. It's got a little American flag. This came with the pack. It's got Velcro, the hook and loop stuff, so you can add patches. It's got a lot of moly straps. Again, I've used the side here and attached some flashlights and knives. So I really like that as well. Besides the main compartment, it's got uh, three other little compartments. It's got this little top compartment where I keep, you know, some reading glasses and another little flashlight and uh, yeah, some more, you know, you know, fire starters and stuff like that. And then down here, it's got two other pockets. It's got one in the front where I keep a lot of just attachments for some of my electronics. It's got one here that you can get into that has more flashlights and uh, where I store stuff, reading material. It's got a lot of organization in it. It's got a lot of little compartments where you can uh, put stuff. And being the first time that I've owned a sling pack, I was a little perplexed when I started opening all the pockets because they are all oriented to slinging it around and getting into it from the side. Uh, let me open this and show you. So if I'm wearing the pack and sling it around, everything is to come out this way. And it took me about a week to get used to that because I had never had a sling style backpack. Um, also, you can carry it like this, which I really like. In the back, it actually has a back compartment to put a hydration bladder. It's got the hole for the tube to come through. But 3V gear, they also keep in mind for like the CCW people, um, everyday carry people. Um, they also have an attachment here. This is kind of a, uh, a place for, for uh, concealed carry. Um, they even have a uh, it's called a, a shadow slot uh, pistol holder that goes in here and there's a velcro attachment inside this that it attaches to and you can actually go to their website and buy this in a bundle and actually get a discount if you buy the items together so um, they've really thought of you know this as more of a tactical uh, everyday carry bag it's got the moly straps on it where you can add attachments um, it's, it's got a water bottle holder on it. And uh, this, this, front, this front pouch, you can actually run this through it and snap it. And it does kind of prevent someone from coming up behind you and, and stealing something, unzipping it and taking it off because they would have to actually take this off and get into it. it it makes it much harder for for someone to open this up if they're not supposed to be opening it up let me mention just a few other things about this pack again 
It's pretty easy to put on. Again, it's got a really durable, heavy duty buckle right here that buckles. Um, everything's adjustable. It even has a stabilizing strap here on the side. I can find it. You can buckle this in right here. And so uh, that kind of prevents you from slinging it around. But when you're hiking, you can really cinch this down, especially if you have a lot of weight and a lot of load in this. And actually I tried that out a few days ago too. I filled this pack a few days ago with uh, a bunch of rock fossils that I was using for a presentation. Uh, I was talking to some kids about fossils. And so I filled this pack with probably about 25 pounds of rocks and it still felt great to wear. It was still very comfortable on my back and, uh, and the pack held up. There were no scratches, rips, or anything like that. Again, it wears very well, it's very comfortable. Now, let me tell you a few things that I'm not crazy about the pack. I'm left-handed. This is made for a right-handed person. Sling around, get into the compartments, you know, pull out stuff that you need get back in zip it up and just go um, I did have to get used to slinging this around with my right hand I'm a left-handed person um, I did ask the company do they make these for left-handed people oriented the other way and they said as of right now they don't so um, I've had to get used to using this um, you know slinging it around this shoulder just my personal opinion, I would like to have it this direction and be able to sling it around this way instead of this way. But again, I've used this for about three weeks now and I've, I've gotten used to it. Um, um, and it really doesn't seem like that big of a deal to me anymore after using this for, for almost a month. So you will get used to it. But again, uh, for those of you like me that are left-handed, I would prefer to have a left-handed model. Um, also, it is big enough to put a, like a 15 inch laptop, definitely big enough to carry uh, iPads and stuff like that. Um, so um, even if you're just using it for every day uh, to an office type setting or out in the field where you're gonna have to use electronics, it definitely can carry all this equipment. It seems very padded inside. So. 3V gear, this particular pack is called the Outlaw 2 Slinger Pack. Uh, the Outlaw 2 Gear and um, Slinger Pack. So the price on it is about uh, $45 uh, on the website. Again, they also have different sizes backpacks. They actually have a smaller version of this. They have larger versions backpacks. They have duffel bags, they have gun cases. Um, so, uh, I was really pleased that this company reached out to me. Um, I was pleasantly surprised to kind of, uh, find a new company that has products like this, that's specifically designed for, for people that everyday carry, uh, backpacks, whether it's out in the field, uh, or to an office setting. Uh, for me, I, I travel a little bit and, and work in an outdoor setting. So I usually always have to have a pack with me carrying stuff. So I recommend it. Uh, I give it two thumbs up. Um, the only con for me really is I wish they had a left-handed model, but I am getting used to using this just like this. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, again, 3vgear.com. And uh, uh, don't forget to follow us on Freedom Homestead, subscribe, like our channels, and uh, until next time.